Hey guys, today's video is a one topic video about someone that has been in a lot of trouble lately. Yes, we're talking about James Charles as you can see from the title. So uh, my social media will be in the description along with my beauty channel, anything else you might need to find. Also, today's video is sponsored by Raycon. So you can get 15% off your order of your new favourite earphones if you go on buyraycon.com forward slash Angelica Oles. Now let's get into what Raycons are. So Raycons are earbuds, uh, wireless earbuds, and the company was co-founded by Ray J, and this is what my ones look like. They're rose gold and stunning. A lot of celebrities are wearing these. They're basically loved by YouTubers and celebrities alike. Um, we're all enjoying these. Raycons are offered in a bunch of colors and fits, so you can get ones that fit right for you. This is what my ones look like. This is the perfect fit for me. I've just been really loving these. They're also super comfortable, so you can wear these for a really long time and I would know because I will literally spend a whole day just listening to audiobooks. I would just walk around my house, do chores, run errands, all in these earbuds and at no point do I feel any discomfort, which I've had with previous earbuds. There is also a 45 day return policy. If you don't like it, you can return it, but I know you'll love these. So summertime is right around the corner and these are gonna be perfect for that time. Obviously now people are gonna start going on walks, runs, hikes. Uh, you're gonna be doing long car journeys. Hopefully you know you're not the one driving and if you're the passenger, you can just listen to an audiobook, music, podcasts, anything you want. A nice day at the beach, slap these on and you won't hear anyone around you. I just think these are gonna be great for summertime. Uh, I like to just sit in the garden as well and if I'm editing, I'll just put these on and I can enjoy myself in the garden without hearing what my neighbors are doing. So um, I love these right around now uh, because I am leaving the house more because it's starting to heat up and I don't wanna hear anyone. I just wanna hear my podcast or my audiobook. These give you six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass and a more compact design. These fit into all of my pockets, which is great. So I don't always have to bring a handbag with me. So like I said, if you guys want 15% of your new favorite earbuds, then go on buyraycon.com forward slash Angelica Oles. Let's get back into the tea. So I literally just filmed a video about James Charles and now he's doing more stuff. So I just went on Twitter one day, by one day I mean today, and he had posted a seven minute long Twitter video. I'm not gonna make you watch the whole seven minutes. If you guys don't know what's happening, there is an ex-employee of James's that is now suing him. So it was like an editor that then got promoted to producer and was supposed to be like a right-hand man during filming. She then got a concussion and was apparently fired shortly after because she wasn't able to edit videos on time. James is now claiming that none of that is true and that she was fired for reasons that he didn't mention in the video. But I'll get into all of that. So he's saying that he feels blackmailed due to this. What's happening? So this lawsuit has actually been going on for two years, which I didn't know about, but now it's gone public because she just won the case against Erica Castell. Well, she didn't, I don't know if she won, but I think she settled. And now she's obviously tweeted about how she was gonna win this one as well and how she likes to see, you know, bad people get karma and stuff like that. He says that he's been, that, you know, due to everything that's been happening, this is not his comeback to the internet. So he's saying like, he's still taking a break. This is not him coming back to the internet. He is talking to professionals to fix the problem. Why didn't you do this two years ago? Anyway, this is not what we're talking about today. He paid her 72,000 a year. So he said that she was, you know, well compensated, that there is nothing that he did that was immoral or unethical and that he treats all of his employees like family. And, you know, we know that through vlogs and stuff like that when he shows his employees hanging out with him and living at his house and stuff like that. So he says she was well compensated. There was nothing that he did that would be considered illegal, that he had paid her all the money that he owed her and stuff like that. So then he says that he didn't falsely fire her, that she says that she was fired due to her disability. And he says that's not true, but then he doesn't actually provide a reason for why she was fired. So he says that cases are really long and expensive for the defendant mainly, and he's the defendant in this case. But he says he doesn't want to settle because, you know, she's already doing interviews for articles and all of that stuff. So he's like, he's now in the court of public opinion, which is very different to the actual courts that deal with cases. Court of public opinion is just people having an opinion on what's happening. A court will actually look at facts and what is like the reasonable thing to do here. So he's basically saying that if he had just settled behind the scenes, they would have to stop talking about it. But because they would still stop talking about it and people would see that he settled, they would think that that's, a, that's an assumption of guilt that is, is an admittance of guilt. Because if you, a lot of times if people settle in lawsuits, it's not because they're innocent, it's because it's just easier to pay someone off than it is to put them through a trial. So people just pay people off and they're like, look, you can either go through through five years of a court case or I can just give you some money and you will shut the hell up. And people, you know, sometimes just don't have the funds to go through a whole court case. They don't have the energy to go through a whole court case. If it's something traumatic that happened to them, they also don't want to relive that for five years. So they are just willing to take the settlement because that is at least a little bit of a win. 
And that usually means that someone is guilty. Well, a lot of the times that person is not technically innocent, they just settled. So I guess if James had settled here, people would assume that he is guilty. So he's trying to go through the whole court. <coughs> Baby. So he's trying to go through the whole court. Stop. 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 Me. Come say hi to everyone. <laughs> Hello. Hello, she's very sleepy. You guys have said that you missed her being in videos, so here she is. Oh, she's gone now. Okay, so he's obviously not settling. He's trying to go through the whole court process to make sure that everyone knows that he's innocent. And that is if he wins the court case, he wants everyone to know the facts of the case, exactly what happened, all the proof, all the evidence. Whereas if you settle, none of that gets shown to the public. It's just you settled for an undisclosed amount of money and that's down that. Whereas if he goes through a court process, she'll have to show evidence, he'll sh have to show evidence, and then there's no like doubt about what happened. Well, as soon as there is still doubt, but you know, it'll be as clear as possible. He also says that, you know, the old Twitter came up and he says, you know, it's very convenient that all of this is happening at the same time, as if this is some kind of a ploy against him. He says that she could have spoken about this two years ago and throughout the whole two years while this was happening, but she chose now to talk about it. So he's basically saying like, for the last two years, my career has been on the up and up and she hasn't been talking about this because she knew that, and I'm not blaming her right now because I feel like this sounds like I'm on his side. Let's not do that. You guys know my opinion on James Charles. I'm just basically summarizing what he said. So in his words, uh, she had two years to do this because he was on the up and up and he had very loyal fans and he was basically uncancelable. She didn't come out with this, which makes sense. Like if, a lot of the times if a YouTuber is on the up and up, it doesn't really matter what you say about them. You could literally have proof of them like murdering you and their fans will be like, no, he would never, he would never. Um, so of course she didn't say anything when you were, you know, treated like royalty on the internet but now that he's being cancelled he claims that now she's coming out to say all of this about him publicly instead of just keeping it private because now she knows that everyone's going to cancel him even more and have another reason to hate him it's like we don't actually need more reasons to hate you like this is enough what you've admitted to is enough trust me trust me this is just the cherry on top i'm just like wow what else are we going to add to this james charles mix i don't know um i feel like we've like gone through the whole checklist of problematic things he could have done. So it's like, what else is gonna happen now? He says an article is coming out uh, that he was asked for a comment and that this is gonna come out. So he's basically doing a little bit of damage control pre this article coming out. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be an inside article because Kat quote tweeted saying like, oh, you're trying to do control damage with this video because this article's coming out, but it's gonna come out regardless. I think this article's coming out literally within a few days. It might be the case that once I post this video, the article's already up and I'll have to film another video, so. But yeah, basically Kat quote tweeted and was like, yeah, that's not a good look to film a video right before an article comes out, knowing an article's about to come out about you, because it looks like you're doing damage control and trying to and trying to devalue what the person is saying in the article with your video, because it's like you're blind signing them with the video. Then there's some more stuff about Morphe. So, you know, you guys, so you know how after the Holding Myself Accountable video, Morphe was supposed to drop James and they actually said they were going to wind down any sales they had together. And that is mainly the eyeshadow palette. So they were also going to wind down James's discount code, which is 10% off. So they still haven't put any of his items on sale until this moment, uh, even though Jeffree Star was put on like a 50% sale, they were sent to like TK Maxx, TJ Maxx, if you're in America, none of that happened to James Charles. And just now they essentially put James's stuff on a 10% discount. So like what they would have had lost if his discount code was still working. Like this isn't a big discount. This isn't like they're losing anything. They would have lost this 10% of the profit purely by having James's discount. But because James's discount is not there, they can afford to now do a 10% sale because they would have lost that money anyway through his paycheck. So it just makes no sense to me. Like the palette's gone down from like 39 to like 35 or something. I'm just like, you couldn't even do half price, not even 25%, none of that, no? Okay, I guess. God, I just feel like Morphe's gonna go back to working with him after all of this is done. Like after everyone forgets once again what has happened in like a year time, they're gonna go back to working with him because they're gonna think that everyone's forgotten. And he's probably one of their biggest people that they work with, which is why they're so hesitant to get rid of him. Also, someone pointed out on Twitter that right about now is the two year anniversary of Bi Sister. So the fact that it's the two year anniversary and he got caught doing this stuff again, just on a larger scale. Anyway, happy two year by sister guys. 
when is Tati coming back? Like, I feel like now that we've had this two year anniversary and in that two year anniversary, we've managed to figure out that James is in fact guilty. Can we please have Tati back? Please? I miss my Monday through Friday makeup reviews. I really do. She can show me her vitamins all she wants. I am truly okay with it. As long as she releases another eyeshadow palette and she gives me Monday through Friday videos. I just want to know my drugstore 10 under 10 and I want to know the best high-end WTF product. Like, that's all I want to know at this point. And I just want her to come back. Oh, and James Charles is also... I forgot to mention this. He also did mention the Twitter account and said he was hacked on it. So that explains the N-word tweet. That wasn't, you know, him, allegedly. He got hacked. So that's one thing that he's not guilty with. Good progress, James. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. And if you want to comment down below and subscribe, so post videos every time something happens. So hit that bell, be notified when that's happening, social media links, any of the links in the description. I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!